for years. I mean, none of you have ever experienced senioritis, right? You know, senioritis. It's defined as that crippling disease that strikes high school students at random times, ranging anywhere from ninth grade until the day before graduation. Symptoms may include, but not limited to, laziness, <coughs> an over excess of wearing sweatpants and t-shirts, lack of study, and repeated absences, both physically and mentally. <laughs> Students who are experiencing senioritis should be avoided <laughs> at all costs. The seniors, even though you never took my advice on prom, maybe some of you should have. I'm going to give you a couple words of advice to make your life outside of high school more successful. You ready? So write these down. Number one, if at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. <laughs> Next, change is inevitable, except from a vending machine. Thank you, Jasmine. Knowledge is knowing a tomato is a fruit, but wisdom is not putting it in a fruit salad. <laughs> Thank you. This will help you in college. To steal ideas from one person is called plagiarism. But to steal from many is called research. <laughs> and lastly, listen, in these classes, guys, when in doubt, mumble. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, we will recognize 19 band seniors with us this evening with a presentation of their senior plaque and rose. We will also recognize those seniors who earned their fine arts award. To earn a fine arts award in the Central Band program, a student had to complete four full years of Central Band. That's four years of marching band and four years of LGPE for the band members, and four years of marching band and four years of Winter Guard for our Guard members. What an amazing honor, accomplishment, and testament to the dedication of those members. Recently, we received a special honor from the Central High School Band. After a thorough application process, the Georgia Department of Education now recognizes the senior band members from the Central Carroll Band Program for their continued success and commitment in the fine arts. Those students who complete membership in the marching band and LGPE all four years at least 20 hours of community service in the area of fine arts, two extracurricular activities in the fine arts, and a completed capstone project in the area of fine arts will receive the official fine arts seal on their, on their diploma from the Department of Education, which actually arrived yesterday. We, we will be recognizing 11 seniors tonight who qualified this year for that seal. Seniors and your parents, please enter the stage to my right, your left, and then move to the choir loft, starting in the front row. Presenting the awards this evening will be Mr. Cooper, Ms. Neidhart, Jesus Ortega, Hannah Bowen, and Ellie Knox. Please don't. First is Kira Babs. She's the daughter of Candace Babs and Taurus Babs. She's been in the Central Band program for seven years, playing tuba in our symphonic band. She'll be majoring in music education next year at Columbus State. Most memorable moments, doing cartwheels on tuba cases, blow pops, head bobbing, eating, what happens when you drink hand sanitizer, playing with the best section, and finding my best friend. She will receive her fine arts cord and her fine arts seal. Ladies and gentlemen, Kira Bass. Next is Bethany Brock. 
She is the daughter of Heath and Lynn Brock, seven years in central band playing flute in our marching band concert band. She'll be attending West Georgia and studying art and photography. Most memorable moments, the bumblebee, the bumblebee wings, is she throwing up? I don't know, I'm not up there. That's Bailey, the other one was Allie, I guess. Uh, Bryson lied to me about how I would not cry on this ride. <laughs> she will receive her fine arts cord and her fine arts seal, Miss Bethany Brock. She is the daughter of Elizabeth Brown and the late Jamie Brown. Serving seven years in Central Band, playing clarinet in our symphonic and concert bands. She plans to go to Jackson State University and major in chemistry. Most memorable, most memorable moment, getting lost for 30 minutes, picking Dana up with Caitlin and Samantha, then going to IHOP where Samantha burst a banana and making it to graduation just in time. She will receive her fine arts cord and her fine arts seal, Miss Maddie Brown. I heard that story. Next is Kelsey Bogatis Hills. She is the daughter of Robert Hills, serving four years in our color guard and winter guard. She will be uh, attending a four-year college majoring in zoology. Most memorable moments when she and Marissa watched a grasshopper jump and land on Miss Ruby's head, in which he freaked over, also getting to be a part of this amazing second family. She will receive her fine arts award. Miss Kelsey Bogatis Hills. Next is Caitlin Coppernall. She's the daughter of Danielle Coppernall. Seven years in Central Band playing trumpet and French horn in our concert band and symphonic band. She'll be working to save money and go to college. Most memorable moments, listening to Ruby talk trash about Michigan when I'm from there <laughs> and almost getting a ticket in Athens for jaywalking. She will receive her fine arts cord and her fine arts seal. Miss Caitlin Coppernall. <laughs> Next is Tara Freeman, the daughter of Caroline Gillen. Seven years in Central Band playing flute and baritone in her marching and concert bands. She'll be attending the University of West Georgia majoring in nursing. Most memorable moments dancing in stands with Zach playing low rider after each home game and gaining new friends each year. She'll receive her fine arts uh, chord and her fine arts seat. Next is Olivia Gresham. She's the daughter of Paula and Dustin Gresham. Seven years in the Central Band program playing the soon in our symphonic band. She'll be attending Montebello uh, University next year, majoring in music education. Most memorable moment when Bailey fell on the escalator at GMEA. Ladies and gentlemen, Olivia Gresham. Harper, seven years in Central Band program playing trumpet in our symphonic and concert bands. She'll be attending the University of West Georgia to major in music education and minor in business. Most memorable moments getting stuck on Space Mountain, blow pops, the escalator, and being able to perform with the best section. She'll receive her fine arts cord and her fine arts seal. Miss Bailey Heisey. Next is Eli Johnson, son of Scott and Tammy Johnson. Seven years in Central Band playing percussion in our marching concert and symphonic bands. He'll be attending the University of Georgia to major in psychology. Most memorable moments playing the Nokia ringtone and practice at full volume during movement three. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Eli Johnson. Next is Allie Lloyd. She's the daughter of Alfred and Michelle Lloyd and Donna Carroll. Seven years in Central Band, playing alto saxophone in our marching band and concert band as a character. Future plans, majoring in special education at the University of West Georgia. 
most, most memorable moment. Here is stupid decorated cookie, bumble wings, Bryson singing Magic School Bus, marching with eyes closed, and doing Hey Baby with Bethany in the stands. She'll receive her fine arts cord and fine arts seal. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Allie Boyd. Next is Jasmine Martin. She's the daughter of Jesse and Shane Smith. Essentially seven years in the Central Band program, playing clarinet in our concert, pep, jazz, marching band. She'll be attending West Georgia and majoring in special education and minoring in sign language. Most memorable moments, when I danced in the middle of the field at the homecoming pep rally. <laughs> she will be receiving her fine arts cord and her fine arts seal, Miss Jasmine Martin. Next is Bryson Mitchell. He's the son of Jason and Amy Mitchell. Eight years in the Central Bay program playing percussion in our symphonic band and percussion ensemble. He plans to enlist into the United States Marine Corps. Most memorable moments when I started singing the Cupid Shuffle and the entire snare line, including Laney, danced while we were supposed to be set. He will be receiving his fine arts cord. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bryson Mitchell. <laughs> Next is Ms. Carla Morales. She is the daughter of Ana Dominguez, Doming Dominguez sorry, and Benito Morales. Seven years in the Central Band program playing tuba and euphonium in our concert band, marching band, and symphonic bands. She'll be attending University of West Georgia to major in business. Most memorable moments, falling backwards and somebody falling on me with our tubas on, but also being able to stand and conduct for this band every performance. She will receive her fine arts cord and her fine arts seal. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Carla Morales. <laughs> freshman year and Hannah Gray stepped on them at the end of J.G. Wentworth, <laughs> placing third and sack at the the field last, and lastly making long-lasting friendships. She will be receiving her fine arts core. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Marissa Paul. <laughs> Next is Caitlin Raspberry. She's the daughter of Dewey Smith and Alicia Raspberry. Four years in Central Band playing flute and piccolo in our marching symphonic concert pet band. She'll be attending University of West Georgia and majoring in history in order to become a museum conservator. Most memorable moments at a competition, some color, some color guard members screamed, are y'all the potato band? After I said yes, they began screaming and said, oh my God, that was crazy. She would receive her fine arts award and her fine arts seal. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Caitlin Raspberry. <laughs> Our next senior is Lily Steinseifer. She is the daughter of Sabrina and Joe Steinseifer. Seven years in the Central Band program playing baritone and trombone in our concert and marching band as a character. She'll be attending the University of Georgia for a uh, degree in psychology. Most memorable moments, stepping on Kira's cookie, Bruno Mars, fighting Ruby, dancing in the office to drum major Cadence, the motorcycle ride, and Chandler. She'll be receiving her fine arts core and her fine arts seal. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Lily Steinseifer. <laughs> Next is Devin Strank, but I don't believe Devin is here, but does this evening, is that correct? Okay. Next is Caitlin Tucker. Caitlin is the daughter of Katie and Jason Tucker, seven years in the Central Band program playing French horn, mellophone, trumpet, uh, in our concert, symphonic, and jazz bands. 
future plans going to Georgia College and State University to major in art. Most memorable moments, running barefoot across a mall parking lot to make it to the charter bus on time. <laughs> and she wants you to know that she was one minute early. <laughs> she will be receiving her fine arts award. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Caitlin Tucker. Bianca Vinci. She is the daughter of Gustavo Vinci and Laura Vinci. Seven years in the Central Band program playing alto saxophone and flute in our concert and symphonic bands and jazz band. Her future plans include majoring in biology and pursuing uh, medical school. Most memorable moments when Jesus' wig fell off during the womanless beauty pageant. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca will be receiving her fine arts. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Bianca Vinci. Sorry. We talk often about uh, our students and, and how great they are um, on the field, but as you know, they're also very accomplished students. They excel on standardized tests. They are highly sought after by some of the best colleges in the nation, and this year is no exception. When looking through our senior GPAs, it amazes me that these students are able to achieve what they have in the classroom. It further proves that the discipline, time management, and the commitment that these students learn by being involved in music have a direct result on academic success. When most of your band's senior class will be honor graduates and with thousands thousands of dollars of scholarship money already earned, there's something very right with the commitment to excellence our seniors have displayed over the past four years. Students, if you will be attending college next year and receiving any type of financial assistance scholarship, including hope, would you please stand so we can congratulate you. The recipient of this year's high senior GPA goes to somebody who is an incredible musician and an even better person, and obviously very, 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 very intelligent. Highest senior GPA this year goes to Mr. Eli Johnson.
cannot wait to see what's next for you and your story. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm.